Hello, my name is Ember. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I play The Sims 4. So last week I made a video about how The Sims 4 base game is now free. So if you haven't got that and you've been wanting to play The Sims, definitely go and check that out. It's free on like any platform. But in celebration of that, I made a house that was base game only that was a starter home and I wanted to make it like the gayest base game starter home possible. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. But I thought it would also be fun to to make a family for this house because, you know, sometimes it's nice to just have some sims to start with. So that's what I did. This is the cute little family I made for that house. So we have Raven, who is non-binary and uses they, she pronouns. And then we have Jackie, who is trans and uses she, her pronouns. And then I also made a toddler for them, Autumn, because I did make a toddler room in the house, so I just thought it made sense. I did have a little bit of trouble with the last names. Originally, the Sims, the like two adult Sims were gonna have different last names. And I was like, well, what last name do I give the toddler? And so I thought it would be cool to like, you know, make them hyphenated. But there actually wasn't space to include both last names hyphenated for the toddler, which is kind of like, why is there such a character limit on that? That's kind of disappointing. And I thought about like, I've seen some people sort of combine their two last names for their kid's last name, but I like, I couldn't think of anything that would, that would combine Salcedo and Middleton well, that like would make sense. So I just changed, they just all have the same last name now, Salcedo, which was originally Jackie's last name. So I guess they took that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just weird to me. Like, I guess I hadn't really tried to give my Sims like hyphenated last names before, but it is weird that you can't really do that. I mean, I guess if you had really short names, you could, but there's just such a character limit there. It's kind of frustrating. And like, I'm sure for people who have longer names, whether it's like first or last names, it's frustrating to not be able to put your full name into the little text box, you know? But yeah, these are the Sims I ended up making. They were kind of, I had to base them a lot on which hairs look good in the base game. Cause there's a lot of base game hairs that don't look great. Um, and then like there's some newer ones. The one I used for Raven is like a really recent one that we got. I wanted Raven to have blue hair and I'll show you at the end. I like, they were like really loosely based on some of the Sims in the pictures I put in their bedroom. <laughs> um, and one of them had blue hair. So I wanted to do something similar. I actually wanted to give Raven like shorter hair originally, but there just weren't any that I felt fit the vibe I was going for. So I ended up using this like newer hair, but I think it's cute. And I think the blue is nice. I also had a really hard time finding good glasses in the base game. Like the glasses options are so dated. It's so weird. Like, I mean, they look familiar, you know, it's the kind of stuff that I wore and saw other people wearing like in the early 2010s and like the 2000s. But like now in 2022, it's just, people don't really wear those types of glasses very much. So the ones I gave to Raven were the ones I thought like worked the best. They're still pretty square, which I feel like is definitely going out of style for glasses. Personally, I have round glasses and they seem to be getting like more and more popular. But it was just so weird how like glasses styles that were so common in the past are now just like super outdated. And I mean, it's true for a lot of the clothes and stuff too, probably. I just don't pay as much attention to like what clothes are in style. I know that's definitely been an issue with like having really low rise jeans and stuff though. See, so yeah, that's, that's an interesting thing in the base game. I do hope that they continue to add to the clothing and the accessories and stuff there because a lot of it is really outdated. And it's just like, this game was originally released in 2014. And like, it feels kind of weird to still be dressing your Sims like it's 2014, you know? I think I did a pretty good job with the clothes that I found for the Sims though. I wanted to give Raven some like boxers, but there just weren't that many options. There was like three swatches. So I had to change the rest of the outfit around to fit it. But I think it ended up looking nice. And like the newer clothes that we've gotten recently definitely helped. Like that do-rag is a recent addition to the base game. And then yeah, there's a few other things that I used that were like also recently made. A lot of them were made in collaboration with custom content creators. So I mean, there's definitely a lot of good custom content. If you get The Sims 4 base game on like a computer that can have custom content, I definitely recommend looking into some of those just to find, you know, some nicer clothes for your Sims, some things that may be missing from the base game without having to spend all that money on all the different packs. I really liked this leather jacket that I found for Raven. I thought it was cool how it matches their like blue hair. I didn't want to go too overboard with the blue, so I did like some red pants as well, but I just think it looks very cute. 
Um, and yeah, speaking of custom content, there's actually, I don't know if y'all heard, there was an announcement that The Sims 4 is going to be like having an official place for custom content, basically. Like there will be mods and CC that's like pre-screened and is going to be on this service. I don't think it exists yet, but they're like working on it or they're starting to get it set up. And I'm still not sure exactly how it'll work because like I've heard people speculate that it'll be something you can access in game. But from what I saw of the live stream, it didn't seem like that, but maybe I'm just misunderstanding. So I'm still not completely sure what form that will take, if it'll be something that's actually accessible to console players, because I I didn't seem like it would be, but I don't know. I mean, that would be cool if it was. But yeah, there's, there's some interesting developments happening. If you haven't seen, there was like a Behind the Sims Summit. I'm sure there's so many videos talking about it. A lot of people have probably heard about all that stuff, which is why... I didn't make another video about every single one of those things, but there is a lot of cool Sims news going on recently. There are a few things in the base game that are like explicitly like rainbow colored, you know, have a rainbow flag and stuff. I use the swimsuit, the shirts, I just don't really like, and they're still like gender locked in the sense that, I mean, anyone can wear them, but like, for example, on Raven, um, because they have like not even a big chest, but just like because they have any amount of boobs, the non V cut shirt with the pride flag didn't look good on them. Like it was all wrinkled and like messed up. And I didn't like, they just wouldn't wear a V neck shirt, you know? So it was just frustrating. Like I was like, well, I guess I can't use that pride flag shirt because it doesn't look good. And it's also like they partnered with, um, it gets better for those shirts. And like, so they have little phrases on them that say like, it gets better, it's on us. And those are not in Simlish, which some people dislike, you know, it's because it's kind of weird because a lot of the writing in the game is in Simlish and they throw in random English phrases that like can feel out of place. But also just personally, I don't really, I'm not super into the whole like, it gets better, it's on us thing because it's just words, like it's not doing anything. I don't know. I mean, the idea of like, oh, things will get better. Like if you're a young queer person, like don't worry, things will get better. Like things definitely can get better. But it's not just like things automatically get better. Like we have to do stuff to make things better. And I guess that's where the whole it's on us thing sort of comes in. Like it's on us to make things better. But like, I don't need you to tell me it's on you to make things better. Like you can just do it. <laughs> you know, you don't have to do a marketing campaign of like, it's on us. Like, okay, then like do things, you know, like <laughs> you, you don't have to say it. You can just do it. But yeah, anyways, th that aside, I went very pink for Jackie. Uh, that wasn't like necessarily the original plan, although I like I guess I did have her in a like a pink dress at first, but I thought this jacket was really cute and I kind of wanted to do some like, so there's these socks in the games that are trans flag colored um, and I thought it would be very cute to have, but I had the hardest time finding shoes that went with them. Oh my goodness, like I'm still not super happy with what I went with, but it's, I think it worked okay. But I just really wanted to use those trans socks because like I said, Jackie is trans and I also gave her like the trans nail polish, which unfortunately is still like broken for if you have Sims where you change their frame to where it doesn't match with like the gender they're assigned in the game. They don't even have access to the nail polish and like the trans nails break, which sucks. But that's why like a lot of my Sims now, I don't really end up changing that. So just something to know, I've made other videos about that. There's a few, definitely a few issues in the game when it comes to trying to make trans Sims that like are just really frustrating. I like, at least there are some like trans pride colored stuff. Um, I was able to use the cute trans pride nails which again, isn't available to every trans sim, which sucks. Um, I did really like this dress. I think it's a more recent edition, which is why it like looks nice the way it does. Uh, also the hair I used for Jackie, it's one of my favorite base game hairs, I think. I just think it looks very nice. Some of the other ones are very like blocky. This one feels much more, like the hair just feels much more realistic. You know, it's going in a lot more ways and stuff. And I think it's, it's it looks cool. There were a few categories of clothing and accessories that were just harder than others. Like I said, shoes, glasses, hair. For the pants, I mean, there's a few different options, so it was okay. But there definitely are like some things that are lacking in the pants in the base game. But there also, there've been some more like that have been added recently. So that definitely helps. You can just, you can really tell the difference between the stuff that's from like 2014 and the stuff that was added recently. I mean, I guess if you wanted to like go back and have all your Sims pretend like it's 2014, you could definitely do that. So for Jackie, I actually gave her a new trait that we just got in the base game, the loyal trait. I'm not fully sure how it works yet, but I just thought it'd be interesting to use that new trait. I also made her outgoing and a geek. 
And so sort of to go along with that geek trait, I gave her the collector aspiration. It's one of the base game aspirations that I think can be fun and like help you explore different parts of the game. Some parts of it are like way too hard. I think it's you have to collect like five crystals or something, which is just very hard to do, honestly. But I do like since the house I made them is in a neighborhood with lots of collectibles, lots of rocks and places to dig. I thought it would be fun to do and I just think that that aspiration goes well with the geek trait. I think I ended up using the little leopard print skirt or is it no it might be cheetah print which is not I don't know is that in style now? It used to be in style and then went out of style but like a lot of things are coming back so maybe it's coming back into style I'm not sure but I thought it went well with this jacket. Actually you know what probably why I thought it went well with the jacket is because like the fur has kind of a cheetah print. I didn't even like consciously realize that but I guess I realized it. Uh, also the makeup they tried to add some MAC makeup to like make the base game makeup better, but the MAC makeup mostly really sucks. Like it's not good. Most of the MAC makeup, I used some of it, but man, it's yeah, I tried to do makeup for these Sims. I'm just not the best at makeup. Also, there still is not good makeup for Sims with like darker skin tones. Like I was trying to do makeup on Raven and most of the lipsticks did not work at all. And so like I had to go only for like the very darkest ones and then like adjust the opacity and the color and stuff. And that's just disappointing. Like they should definitely have makeup that works on all skin tones. They did this whole skin tone update. It's so, like now you can have a lot of different skin colors for your Sims, but like there should also be stuff that suits them well when it comes to makeup. So I hope that's something that they'll add. Um, I did really like this outfit that I made for Jackie though with like the little bra thing. I don't really know what that would be called, um, but I thought it went really nice with this skirt. And then I tried to make her eye makeup like match the colors of the skirt as well. <laughs> and also her lips. I don't know like how close I got that, but I thought it was an interesting idea at least. I just love making my Sims like super colorful. I also love when they sort of develop their own style. Like I just know like the Sim wouldn't wear that, you know, or like they would wear that. Um, I did for the cold weather for Jackie, I did sort of deviate from the previously established style. Instead of pink, it's more black and purple, but I thought it was still cute. And I think it could like, I think it could fit, you know, you could have a slightly different style in the cold months uh, when you have, you know, you're wearing different clothes. Like that happens for me. Sometimes you just have more clothes in one color that are warm for cold weather and then you have more clothes in another color that are for like warm weather so it you know it can switch but I, I think all of their outfits look very cute uh, and I think I mean I personally I think I did a pretty good job for base game only like making these outfits. I also have not talked about Raven's traits yet so let's talk about those. I gave Raven the painting aspiration because in their bedroom I put up like an easel so I thought it made sense for one of the sims to have a painting aspiration. Painting is just one of those skills that's really fun to start out with in the sims. There's a lot you can do with it. It's a good way to make money. I think it just makes sense to have an easel in a starter home and you know if you're having starter sims uh, I think it's good to try out when, it, when you're first playing the game. Uh, I also gave Raven the bro trait, which I don't know, it just feels very queer to me. I like it. And the like art enthusiast trait, I think that's what it's called, or like they like looking at art. And then I also gave her the family oriented trait. So yeah, that's, that's Raven. Um, and then we also have their toddler Autumn. I just like randomize the trait for Autumn. I always feel like, you know, I like giving my Sims a personality, but I feel like for toddlers, their personality is really developing and it could go in a lot of different ways. So I like to just like leave it open, but I did end up giving Autumn like a rainbow flag shirt just cause I didn't super like it on the other Sims in a lot of the other like outfit categories, but I thought, you know, for the toddler, it, it works. It's just a t-shirt. You don't have to worry about the weird glitches for different body types because all toddlers have the same body type. So I thought it was just like cute everyday wear, you know? So at least someone is wearing the little rainbow pride flag shirt. I do like, I did give the toddler some painted nails to go with some of the outfits as well, which I thought were very cute. I had forgotten by the time I got to hot weather, but I had intended to, for the like pride shirt, there's a swatch with like rainbow ice creams and I thought that would be really cute for hot weather. So I did go back and change that to make Autumn's Hot Weather the little rainbow ice cream cone t-shirt. Speaking of things I forgot, I also, I had meant to give the Sims body hair 
because one of the pictures that's like in their bedroom, it has these two Sims embracing and they have like visible leg and arm hair. And I like it a lot. So they were like sort of based on that. And that was why I wanted to give them like leg and arm hair as well. But I did forget initially, but I went back and added that. I also did go back and change their like, there's like a sexual orientation tab now uh, beside the gender customization tab. And at first I wasn't going to mess with it, but then I checked and it like, because I guess because they're married to each other, the game automatically made each of them only interested in romance with women. I don't know. I did go back and change it to where they were also like interested in sex with women, but I just don't like the way they implemented that because I think I don't really like any setting that makes it likely that my Sims will end up being transphobic, you know? I don't know. I said that. Feel free to change it. I, I'm not really, I don't really like how they ended up implementing that. I also ran into the issue where these are supposed to be base game Sims, but each of them, the game thought that they were wearing stuff from different packs. So like for whatever reason, it thought one of them had stuff from Get to Work and the other had stuff from Dine Out, but I couldn't figure out what that was. So it should be fine to still download with just the base game and nothing should be missing. If anyone figures out what item is causing that, please let me know so I can remove it. But I, like I was testing everything. I couldn't figure out what, why it was saying that. So I don't really know. But yeah, with that, I think I will go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I am planning to make another video kind of like this where I want to use create a sim to make some of the sims in this cute pride picture. So keep your eyes out for that. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video and I will see you next time.